Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a scent review on the online exclusive fragrance gingerbread latte. So I do have it in the fragrance mist and the shower gel, and I'm just gonna go ahead and review the scent for you guys today. So if you're excited to see my thoughts on this scent, then just keep watching. I do wanna remind you guys to subscribe to my channel. If you enjoy Bath & Body Works content, that is basically what my whole channel is about. I do a few makeup things and hauls here and there, but basically I am a Bath & Body Works fanatic, so that is what my channel is about, so you guys will love it here. But let's get in to gingerbread latte. So I have right here both um, the shower gel and the fine fragrance mist, so I'll go ahead and show you guys the packaging. This one came out in the Holiday, holiday Traditions line for this year. And that's kind of what all of the fragrance mists look like for our holiday traditions. And then the shower gel is kind of like that snow globe uh, packaging design. And it's just like this brown liquid on the inside. And then the same thing with the fragrance mist. It is also a brown liquid. And the fragrance notes on these are Santa's Gingerbread Frosted Pear and Brown Sugar. So this one was an online exclusive, but I actually saw it in my store a few days ago. So I don't know what that was about, but they had it in store in the um, body cream and the fragrance mist. I don't know, they might've had like it every formula and I just didn't see it. Like maybe it was already sold out by then, but um, I did see it in store, which is kind of odd, but they had this last year also as an online exclusive um, and I really was sad that I never got it last year so I wanted to pick it up this year but to me I don't think it smells like gingerbread. Um, Bonnie Queen of the Girl Geeks has a really great review on this too and I agree with her that it's not. It's not a spicy gingerbread. It gives me absolutely no spice. Like I wouldn't think mm, yeah gingerbread cookie or gingerbread house but I definitely get the pear. And I think the pear is the strongest note in the shower gel. It's like a very fresh and fruity. And then with a slight like sugared, almost maybe I would say like a cinnamon sugar topping. Um, so maybe like poached pears with a cinnamon sugar topping is kind of what I would say this is. So maybe like the filling of like a pear pastry or something. But it's definitely not gingerbread at all in the shower gel. And then for the Fine Fragrance Mist, we'll give her a spray. Again, not a lot of gingerbread, actually like no gingerbread, but I do get a little more of a bakery note in the Fine Fragrance Mist. And again, the pear and definitely brown sugar. I wouldn't say the sugar cinnamon again um, in the Fragrance Mist. I would say just, just like a sugary and almost powdered sugar actually. Now that I'm smelling it again, um, you know how sometimes when you make gingerbread cookies, you dust them with powdered sugar over the top instead of icing them? That is kind of what I'm getting. So yeah, that is these two. I did not pick it up in the lotion or the uh, body cream just because I feel like I don't really need it. I feel like this is a scent you can pass on. Um, but if you are a fan of like pear scents or just like sweet scents, then you might enjoy this one. But I honestly think it's just one that you can pass on this year and not really be too sad about missing out on it. So I really wish it had more spice in it. Um, I feel like I would like it a lot more if it had more spice and ginger or something like to make it actually like gingerbread. But um, so far I say that you can pass on this one. But anyways, that is my review for Gingerbread Latte. I hope that you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know down below if you're picking up this scent this year or if you're just gonna pass on it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.